guys and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Reviews. So today I'm extremely happy to be bringing you guys my personal review of Lux by Jennifer Aniston. This fragrance launched this year 2017 and is Jennifer Aniston's fifth fragrance. So this fragrance is a little bit different than anything Jennifer has previously done and this fragrance is her first one that is not beach inspired. This one is inspired by a romantic setting, a little black dress, you know that kind of moment of spotlight. And previous fragrances have all been kind of beach themed and how they fit into the day at the beach, which I really liked about Jennifer Aniston, but I also liked that she stepped out of her comfort zone and created kind of a new sexy scent. So Jennifer Aniston Lux right here on the front of the box, and it's beautiful, kind of a gold embossed font across a black uh, background. Then you've got a gold bar across the front that says Eau de Parfum Spray Vaporizer. One fluid ounce, 30 milliliters. This fragrance only does come in a 30 milliliter, just like Beachscape did last year. Um, top of the box is Jennifer Anderson in that same font. And then the back, we have an ad for Lux. Also, speaking of ads, the production image I did for this picture, or for this perfume, I love, I'm absolutely in love with this picture. It's probably my favorite production image I've shot. Um, kind of captured the idea I was going into with the fragrance really well, and... It was one of the first times that I haven't had to amend my idea of what I wanted the picture to look like in order to fit the perfume. This one fit perfectly the way I wanted to do it and worked amazing. Um, so I really, really like that production image. So the bottle looks like this this time. And it's kind of straight see-through right up here. As you can see, it kind of is easy to see through. And then you have this stark piano black going on the top and then also on the lid. So... Just like the other bottle design, still the same bottle design, but it's a little more elegant, a little more classy, just like the fragrances this time. The notes of this fragrance opens with pink lychee, fresh sage, and bergamot. Jasmine, sandblack, rose essential, and orris are in the heart, with base notes of vanilla, patchouli, tonka bean, and sandalwood. So, before I dive too deep into this review, I will say that this fragrance is very similar to another one in the Jennifer Aniston lineup, and that is her J fragrance. So J was launched a couple years ago, and it was this kind of bourbony, vanilla, beachy, salty type of fragrance. And in my review, a lot of you guys said you were kind of put off by it because I said it sound, smelled boozy. And until you guys went out and smelled it, you really didn't understand what I meant by the boozy vanilla. And the people who did understand it had previously smelled the fragrance or knew pr what boozy vanilla smelled like. And that's kind of what you got from this one. You also got a little bit of this salt in the sand in the kind of the sea air, which made this one slightly salty. So, this one is Lux, and it is kind of that similar fragrance. It's got a little bit more fresh of an opening because you have that bergamot and the sage in the top. Um, but overall, it does have a very similar vanilla to it. This one just isn't a boozy vanilla. This is more of a dry vanilla bean. And what I really, really like about these fragrances is there's another fragrance name that perfectly captures what I think this fragrance is, and it is J-Lo's J-Lux, because this is definitely... This is the Lux version of this, so that would make it J Lux. Anyway, definitely this fragrance is luxurious. It is sexy, as well as this fragrance is sexy. And in my kind of opinion, this fragrance is sexy in the fact of you have a pretty girl in kind of some light, airy clothing on the beach. She's walking, her hair is blowing, that type of sexy, you know. And then this one is that type of woman who's sexy in that little black dress who, you know, makes herself seductive and business-like, and that's kind of what I feel like this fragrance is. It is definitely a little bit more business casual than Jay was. I feel like Jay was definitely more summery, and you could wear it as a office fragrance, but it didn't really fit there. I feel like this nails that on the head. It definitely goes where Jennifer Aniston was trying to go with this one. So, lasting power, I get about 9 to 10 hours, but Jennifer Aniston fragrances are known to last a really long time, which I really like about them. Um, I definitely think this is more of a late summer, early fall type of fragrance with Jay being kind of the spring and summer version of it. Um, but I definitely feel like this is late summer, early, you know, fall, that type of range would be the best for this. 
um, but definitely a daytime and could transition into a nighttime fragrance. Um, it is definitely luxurious, so I could see you using it as a nighttime fragrance as well. So, there you go. There is my review of Jennifer Aniston's Lux. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Links are in the description below. I completely screwed up my out outro. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.